Hello, this is Noreen Crone Findlay, and today I'm going to be doing the sixth video in my Working with the Lucid uh, series. And today's video is about how to make gorgeous Celtic interlaces, interlaced hearts on your Lucid or with your Lucid cords. First of all, First things first, my website is cronefindley.com. My blog is tottytalkscrafts.com. Now that's where you'll find the uh, template or pattern for the Celtic interlace uh, heart that we're doing today. YouTube video tutorials, we're already here. And Etsy, now that's an important one for you to know. You can go there to buy my Lucid's Made with Love by me with my own little hands. And also all of my uh, spool knitting patterns and ebooks on Etsy work beautifully with the Lucid. To follow me on Facebook, go to Noreen Crone Findlay Designs, and there's no dots or dashes in there. And uh, just click follow. I'm going to show you um, a shawl that I used uh, my Celtic one, one of my Celtic interlace uh, uh, hearts to embellish. So I'm just going to turn off and do a quick edit over to the shawl. This is a shawl that I wove and I used lucid cord to make the Celtic interlace heart and stitched the heart onto the shawl. And I also used lucid cord to make the contrast etching on the shawl. So uh, your lucid is your best friend for embellishing woven, crocheted, or knitted, or even purchased, sewn things, or things you sell yourself. Uh, and the uh, spool knitted hearts, uh, or lucid Celtic interlace hearts, are wonderful for so many things. So what all can you do with your Celtic interlace heart besides using, using it to embellish garments or bags or hats or accessories? Well, why not use it as a yarn bomb? Take and put a, a thread here or on one of the shoulders of the heart, hang it in a tree and maybe put a little note on it saying, here's a little heart for you. And uh, so yarn bombs. That's fun. How about a Christmas ornament? The Swedish people have uh, always used hearts on their Christmas trees. So Christmas time. How about Valentine's Day? I'm going to show you how to make different size Celtic interlace hearts and you can use them to embellish your scrapbooking or greeting cards as well. So there is absolutely no limit to things that you can do once you're making your Celtic interlace lucid cord hearts. What do you need to make your Celtic interlace hearts? Well, of course, you need one of my gorgeous little lucids that I designed and make and sell in my Etsy shop. So you have to start with that. And then you'll want a tape measure and scissors and having some pins and needle and thread that's all good too you can also if you're not going to use your celtic interlace heart on a garment then you can use a glue gun a hot glue gun um, if it's going on a garment, you're going to want to uh, make all the connections with needle and thread. If it's going to be an ornament or a yarn bomb, then using your glue gun or glue is fine. You also need, of course, yarn or fabric strips. I've made my cords with um, a combination of both. I've used uh, torn up fabric strips and um, fabric strips that I cut from a, a t-shirt that's no longer being worn. And... You'll also need to go to my website and get the, not my website, my blog, and get the, um, the template. So, let's get started. First of all, if you don't know how to use your lucid to make lucid cords, you're going to need to go to the first video in this series and 
make yourself some lucid chords. So go make yourself some lucid chords and then come back here and we can talk. You've made some lucid chords? Great. Now we can get to work on our making some hearts. Let's measure this one. I just had, um, I was doing a uh, maker's fair this weekend and so I had my lucid with me and I just was making cord with the um, with this uh, old t-shirt fabric and just made it you know I just kept going to the length of this particular strip and this one is you know it's only a couple inches longer than normal for which <laughs> let me tell you what normal is okay if you're going to work with fabric strips or thick uh, cords that you've made with multiple strands of yarn held together, you're going to want to make a cord that's 24 inches long. Uh, I think that's 60 centimeters. I think that's right. Uh, does it say on here what, how many centimeters is 24? It is 60 centimeters. Okay. If you're going to use just one strand of yarn or thinner threads, then you'll make a smaller heart with that and just uh, do 12 inches with that. If it's a bit longer, a bit shorter, not to worry. You can cut it and trim it. Um, uh, if it's too short, that's okay. You just leave off the curlicues. Um, if it's too long, you just add a bit more curlicue at the side. So. Let's get started. Okay, now you go to my web, to my blog, and you'll get a copy of. So I'm just going to move the tripod a bit to get the the uh, template in here a bit better. Go to my blog and get a copy of the template. I'm going to. Sorry for the awful noise there. I'm going to just fold this so it goes better into line for me. There, that's better. Always working around the tripod is ever so clumsy. Okay, so you've got your template. Now, take your 24-inch cord. We're going to start by doing a 24-inch one because I want you to get the mechanics of doing this first before you start working smaller because um, once you know how to do it, it's so quick and easy, you'll just be thrilled and you'll be whipping out Celtic interlace hearts like nobody's business. Okay, so I've put the ends together. I've folded it so that I now have a fold that is in the exact center of my cord. I'm going to check my, see my, uh, see if my hot glue gun is ready to go, and I think so. Okay, I'll flip it around here. All right, so I've got it folded in half. I'm going to put that fold down at the point of the heart. I'm going to take the left hand cord and push it to the right and the right hand goes to the left. Now I'm going to put a dab of glue to hold that cross. Usually I have a container, a, uh, a yogurt container or a glass cup or something with water in it because when I hit myself with the hot glue, it's usually excruciating and I'm yelping and uh, I uh, need to hit the water with it. Okay, so um, this is going to be a bit short. This one's a bit short. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to push my uh, cord up a little further and just I won't be going all the way to the outside edge of the template. I push this cord over and then I'm going to just take the left hand one goes over the right hand one and sorry about that bump there and under 
the right hand. Perfect. Now, what I could do is if I wanted to make it a larger heart, I could skip the outside curlicues and just um, glue it down like this. But I do like the curlicues, so I'm going to pull down on the heart. There. And I'm happy with that shape, so I'm going to give myself a little dab of glue there at each of the intersections and try not to burn myself. And of course I did stick my finger in the hot glue. Oh yeah. And then you could either take a darning needle or a tapestry needle and use your ends to go, you know, to, to secure your end and to turn it into the little curlicue at the side. Or you can use your hot glue gun and just push the tip in there and hold it just to make sure it does form a bond. Later you'll take your needle and weave in your ends. Although I think if you, you know, if you put a dab of glue onto your end and push it in, you can probably just trim your end. Or if you like the ends, try and get rid of that glue there. If you like the ends, you can leave them dangling. And then I will do the same thing on this side and just glue the end, squish that little end in there. And we have one Celtic interlace heart. Quick and easy, isn't it? So you can yarn bomb your entire neighborhood with Celtic interlace hearts. So there's one. Now, I think this one is closer to the 24 inches. Let me just measure that and see. I uh, ran out of, this was like a, a fat quarter or something, and, and so it didn't make a lot of uh, fabric strips. So that's why some of them are a bit short. I think this one is uh, the exact right length. So let's just quick like a bunny zip through that. And you see, when you have uh, your cord the actual 24 inches, it does follow the template pretty closely. So you just... And it doesn't matter which side uh, you take over under first. It's just that you are going to be going uh, over under. You're going to weave it, as in Celtic interlace. It is interlaced. There we go. See, this one being the 24 inches does fall very closely into the uh, lines of the template. And I'm going to do one that's actually longer than 24 inches because I want to show you what you can do with just giving it a bit extra um, curl. Whoops, I don't want to get the hot glue onto the velvet uh, tablecloth. Not so much. I'm just going to squish that end in. There you go. And over here. And like I said, to make a, uh, to make a yarn bomb, uh, you would just take a needle and thread and put a loop of uh, thread, or you could use a paper clip and open it up, fold it out, and then put the um, put one end through here and it would be like a Christmas uh, ornament hanger and that's how you would use this as a Christmas ornament too is to hang it from the top cross point. Now with a cord that's longer than 
24 inches, you're going to get a slightly larger, a slightly larger heart. So I'm just going to, so you can see you're just using your template as, um, well, as a template, just as it's not required reading, it's suggested reading. Okay, so we'll want that one to go, because this one came, goes over, we want this one going over here, and then that one will go over there and under here. So when you're looking at it, you always want it to be over, under, over, under. You don't want two overs, which I just noticed on the other one, I have two overs. Yeah, oops. Okay, do as I say, not as I do. All right, so we'll quick like a bunny glue those little darlings down. I wonder, I should probably show you what I mean when I say open up a, a paper clip, because just saying open up a paper clip may not actually mean a whole lot. Is that one glued? Yeah. Okay, so because this one was longer, I get to curl in my interlace or my my little twirly at the end gets to be or you can leave it further out and connect it out here yeah i'm really splitching okay good there we go We'll leave our ends trailing out. Oh, I glued it to the paper. Don't glue it to the paper. It's mucky. Okay, and we'll do the same thing over here. I'll trim the ends off later, or maybe I'll leave them hanging. And there we go. So when you have a cord that's longer, you get a bit more twirly bob out here. So now let's do it with a shorter one. This is regular, um, I would say it's about a sport weight yarn. And same thing, we're going to fold it in half and at the very end we will put a little dab of glue and fold that over. Okay, then we're going to take the right end down and then the left end down the le and the left end is going to go over and under. Of course, you can reverse it depending on how you've made your your glue. I mean, your how you glued your first bit, and then you want to just adjust it so that your heart is beautifully shaped. And dab a glue, push it in. Dab a glue it in and if you don't want to curl up the ends of your heart but you'd rather that they just were left kind of plain and simple then they can just go out this way of course it's wanting to stick to me more than it's sticking to itself but isn't that always the way there we go so I think I will curl them over I'll just give it a little little touch here So you can see that even though I'm giving you the one template, you can do all kinds and sizes of Celtic interlace hearts based on that. Ouch! Template. Yeah, that was finger in the hot glue. Ooh. And we'll just push and squish that little darling in.
I want that one to come over there. Ow! Okay, so we'll trim those ends. So you can see that you can make a you know really beautiful cards using the Celtic interlaces, uh, or scrapbooking, um, or you know attach it to like I did, woven or sewn or knitted things, scarves. It's beautiful on scarves. So that's how to make Celtic interlace hearts from your lucid cords. And so I'm going to, I'll trim my ends and line it up and give um, a shot of just the hearts with their ends trimmed. So I'll just edit myself out here and come back with that. So here we have the yarn bomb <laughs> Celtic interlace hearts or your, you know, not necessarily yarn bomb, but perhaps um, your embellishments for fashion or home decor or scrapbooking or stationery. Okay, I've got a paper clip here. I'm going to show you what I mean when I say to open it out. I mean just to unbend it so that when what you've got, I think it shows up better against the green there, what you have then is like a Christmas tree um, ornament hook and you'll take the small end and you just slip it into one of the loops at the very center of the heart and then kind of bend that loop closed, push it back into the heart there. And now you can hang your Celtic interlace either as a Valentine's uh, Day gift or a yarn bomb to leave somewhere where someone else will find it and be thrilled, or as a Christmas ornament. Otherwise, sew it onto things, glue it onto things, have fun with your Celtic interlace arts. And of course, as always, enjoy your lucid. So, have a lovely time with your yarn. And here we go, from my heart to yours. <laughs>